How are you doing today, sir? Good, man. How are you? I want to start with what I'm sure everyone is saying, which is congratulations on the movie. You're fantastic in it. The movie is so good. Um, and that's all the time I have. I will see you later. Right. See ya. See ya, Iron Man. <laughs> exactly. No, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so uh, one of the things that I found fascinating about this movie is the it, it probably has the least amount of exposition I've ever heard in any movie. And I'm curious, what was it like reading the script? Because it's so sparse with the dialogue and you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. Um, I mean, that's that's the beautiful part about the book and the script is that um, I guess it has a lot more to, to kind of guide you in, in, in the narrative sense. Um, but I guess the huge challenge there for, for Jane and, and, and for the cast and the crew is, is about conveying that to, to film. Um, so yeah, there was, there was some challenges that posed, posed there, but at the end of the day, I think that is the beauty of this. It's, um, it's a lot more in the themes and in the movements and in the, the sensation of that impending doom or anxiety that this film conveys, um, that kind of guides you. I know that Benedict really went for it on this one and tried to stay in character on set. What was it like watching someone or working with someone who is really going for it? And, and, you know, method, if you will. It's good. I mean, it has a it has a necessary domino effect, I think, on anyone who's in his presence. You know, we needed a hostile environment um, to, to kind of keep the continuity to the, this tone. Uh, and, you know, Benedict is quite completely the opposite of his character, Phil. So it was extremely necessary to do so. Um, yeah, it helped me, if anything. Uh, I've heard that uh, Jane will often ask people to do like in-character exercises and, you know, to help you prepare for the role. What Was there anything that you did that she asked you to do to get ready for this one? From the get-go, the audition that I had with her wasn't your traditional audition. She really just asked me about my personal interests. Um, but then also told me to uplift Peter into the room and she asked him questions and uh, about about his interests, about his life. And I think that was a really beautiful approach. It made me feel extremely comfortable and, and had a lot more freedom about it. And if anything, I feel like you can prove more about your abilities or yourself in improv um, in, a, in a situation like that. But and then from from moving forward into into the actual production, into rehearsals, that's where all of her cards were, you know, dealt to us. Um, for me personally, she challenged me to go beyond the boundaries of my personal approach, um, as we all have one, but um, she kind of poked and prodded me in the best way and and challenged me to take on new techniques and, you know, re-explore things that I'd already done in the past that sometimes your pride lets you think that you've mastered, but you've never really mastered anything. We never know it all. And we're always a student to, to the universe and to our craft. So she reminded me of that. And that's something that I will always um, carry with me. On what day of the shoot did you get tired of wearing those jeans? Those jeans? Hey, they're comfortable. Just, uh, they were tired. They were tired. He's right. They needed to be worn in. I want to ask you um, uh, sort of about the ending. Um, do you think that Peter actually had feelings for Phil um, at the end of the movie? Because there's this great shot of him holding the rope and, you know, thinking about stuff. I'm just curious what your take on it was. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm glad that translated because that's, for me personally, what, what I was um, trying to convey or just not even, not even convey because I'm not thinking about the audience in that sense. But for Peter, he in that situation was... Um, kind of missing missing Phil. Um, and I think there's a beautiful conversation there to be had about the possibilities if, you know, Phil wasn't such a horrible person to be around, that there would have been more possibility that there would have been chemistry, there, there could have been a future there. That could have been a quite happy house. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough one. Yeah, uh, 100%. I, I already got a wrap. I'm just gonna say, seriously, man, great work. Thank you for giving me your time. Thank you, man. See you.